Hello, guys. Welcome to another episode of Forward Talk. Uh, before we go any further with this talk, uh, please uh, check out the show descriptions for opportunities to support uh, us financially, the work that we do, uh, both the show, our church plant. Also, um, I am in a master's program right now, so if you would like to support any aspect of the work that we're doing, um, please uh, check out the um, the uh, links to give in the show description. Also, please, uh, before you go any further, smash that subscribe button. Help us get to the milestone of 1,000 subscribers. We currently have 616, and um, I believe some 70-plus percent of our viewers are not subscribed. So there's definitely plenty of room for our subscriber base to grow. So um, we appreciate all of you that have subscribed and all of you that are faithful to watch and comment. As always, please do comment. Uh, on the video. Um, you can agree, disagree, uh, however you want to comment, just please feel free to engage. We love the engagement. So uh, most of you that are familiar at all with with uh, who I am, stuff that I've post, written, et cetera, you know how much I love the Word of God. And so um, I saw a video today from Paul Washer that I thought was worth sharing with you guys. Um, very impactful on me today. So and here goes that video. The background here is some gentleman was videoing Paul Washer in his personal library. He was walking through his library, pointing out some influential authors in his life. And uh, But this particular segment of this video was very impactful to me. It's almost as if you can tell the difference when you see um, a young man, two young men, let's say, they both seem to have a solid grasp of theology and one has gotten it only by reading good books. And the other, though, although he hasn't neglected reading good books, has it came out of his grappling and wrestling with the scriptures. And so what uh, what um, Paul Watcher is discussing here is comparing two young men that both of them seemingly have a good grasp of good theology. The difference is, is that the one young man's primary source of his theology is reading excellent books, reading good books about good theology. And the other young man, while he has read good books, he has mostly obtained his theology from wrestling with Scripture. Now, in this uh, in this illustration, um, Paul Washer accepts that both of these young men probably hold the very similar, if not the same theology, uh, uh, obviously the same core theology, one just read good books about the Bible. The other read the Bible itself. And he says that you can tell a difference between the, the young man whose theology came from wrestling with Scripture and the other man's uh, young man's theology that came from reading good books about Scripture. I thought that was an incredible point. I'm an avid reader. I promote people to be avid readers. But the point that uh, Washer makes here is incredible. You can't just get your theology from reading books about the Bible. You have to actually read and love the Bible. And he's going to give some incredible reasons why. Uh, nothing. You, you, if you just read books and you don't read the Bible, you know what you'd almost become like? A parrot who can say all kinds of right stuff. So if you just read good books about the Bible, but you don't read the Bible... He says you are a parrot. You are parroting good things, parroting accurate things. But like a parrot, they're not uh they're they're not real. It's just something that he's repeating sounds. So not just about reading parroting good books, but even parroting good sermons or good traditions that so often in, in many church traditions. Uh, young people and saints grow up in a church and and they don't fall in love with scripture for themselves and the things that they uh, believe or defend it's this is what my pastor teaches this is what my church teaches and uh, so they're parroting good things but because they have not personally wrestled with scripture it's it's inauthentic and there's a completely different uh, component to the individual who's just repeating what he has been taught and the individual who is who is uh, speaking from the heart things that he has in his heart from the word of God. And so he's talking about the importance of not 
just parroting what you've heard or read, but getting the word of God in your heart for um, for yourself. I know so many, so many people that I grew up with could repeat to you all the rules, all the things, all the things that we ought to do and all not to do. But when it come right down to it, they really didn't have a way to defend those from scripture because they were just repeating what they heard. And so I want to encourage, encourage you along with Paul Washer, don't just be a parrot. Don't just repeat what you've heard, what you've been told, what you've learned. Study the word of God for yourself. Get it in your heart so that what you speak about scripture will be from conviction and not just from repeating something that you have been told about scripture. But there's just not a whole lot of reality to it. And, and we can't find it. People know there's not a lot of reality to it. And this, also, this only the scriptures. See, you can grow in the knowledge of books, and sometimes it will increase your pride. He said you can grow in the knowledge of books and knowledge that you get from books, but it will oftentimes cause you to increase in pride. The Apostle Paul says the exact same thing in Corinthians, that pride um, will puff you up, that pride will, or that knowledge will puff up. Knowledge will make one oftentimes to be arrogant. But notice what he says in contrast, you can gain knowledge from books, but it'll often make you prideful. But when you gain knowledge from scripture. Uh, if you know in the knowledge of scripture, it will increase your brokenness and your humility. And so, you know, so I, I I was thinking as he was making the statement that the reason why you might grow in pride from reading books as opposed to growing in humility and wisdom from reading scripture is that you 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 take on uh, you may assume the uh, personalities of the authors. So perhaps the book is excellent. It's an excellent presentation of the gospel or an excellent defense of eschatology or baptism or any aspect of, of Christian theology. But you're going to pick up the tone. You may pick up the tone and the attitude of the author uh, when you go to regurgitate or parrot that information. But if you are reading scripture, you'll, you may come to the very same conclusions, but from reading scripture, you will carry the spirit of the word. You will take in you the spirit of the author, which is which is God. And so you can puff up in knowledge from books, or if you if you gain knowledge and in, in relationship with scripture, you'll have the same, oftentimes the same truth, but the spirit that comes from scripture will cause one to be humble and cause one uh to express to express uh humility in their knowledge. Listen, if you're planning on being a minister, you should be living in the word. To all the young preachers out there, listen to what he says here. If you are planning to be a minister, you should be living in the word. The word of God should be central to you. There are hours a day. Hours a day. Hours a day. Hours a day. We, yes. we study yes. the Bible. What we do. And I cut off a little bit earlier. It's what we do. We study the Bible and we pray. He said, if you're going to be a preacher, if you're going to be a preacher, you need to learn to study the Bible and pray because it is what we do. It is who we are. And so I just thought this was so incredibly powerful and wanted to share this video. It's important where you get your truth from. Don't just learn it from books. Learn it from uh, learn it from scripture and uh, what a, what a powerful powerful point thank you for watching today again subscribe consider supporting the channel thanks a lot have a wonderful wonderful day